So you see your favorite celebrities, they are wearing Gucci, they are wearing Givenchy, they are wearing Prada, they are wearing Chanel that they used to want to do as she didn't want it to. It's me that will come and tell you the secret, okay? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dami. You can call me the Owambe Queen. On this channel, I share content around Owambe, party planning, stoning, and the rest. So if this is something you are interested in, then definitely subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make designer rhinestone designs. Okay, I've seen this on some designs, some celebrities here in Nigeria and I, I usually roll my eye like okay let's pretend like we don't know that that's a stoneboard design okay let's just pretend all right without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial this, this is what a stoneboard looks like we have this is the Gucci one there are many many designs I'll show you some of the ones I have here this is the Gucci one uh, you have the small logo and then you have the big one so i put this on like a hoodie a jacket a cardigan even your your dress if you want and then we have this other design that people would usually use for the strip or maybe the end of the clothes just something to look nice i've seen this design on i believe it was a yoruba actor i'll look for the picture and put so i'm just trying to tell you that <laughs> This right here, my people, is the secret. So let me show you some of the other designs that I have here. So this right here is another designer-inspired stone board. This is the Gucci head as well, but this one is a lot bigger than this one. You can see this one is small. This one is, my hand fits in it, but if I bring my hand here, you can see how big it is. So you can use this for bigger, bigger designs. So we have the Gucci one here. We have the Chanel logo here. I'm trying to show you. We have the Chanel logo here. So you can also use this for like your shirts and stuff. And then we have Gucci written out here. And then we have the other logo. I believe this is also a Gucci logo. And then this as well. So there are many, many, many designs you can make and many prints you can make from your from your stone body now to make a design what would you need that's the first thing we should talk about you will need your stone this is what rhinestones look like you will need rhinestones let me show you so i'm sure you know what these stones are this is what a rhinestone is um they usually come if you're buying from like a local tailor or somebody reselling they come in these small packs but you can get them in bigger packs stone uh, picker is just a little pencil like that helps you pick stones it's actually really really effective for picking stone if you don't have that you can use this tool this is called a picker as well also helpful for picking stones another thing you'll be needing is your duster you can use a duster or a foam and then finally you will be needing a transfer sheet this is what a transfer sheet looks like so this is what you use to pick up the designs from the stone board so without further ado let's just get straight into this tutorial i'm trying to make it as detailed as possible and as explanatory as possible so i already have some stones here which is the one i would be using this is like leftover stone from a project from something i did another time so this you can see this one is giving yellow this one looks very yellow while this is more multicolored so this is the one i'm going to be using for today so to just get your design it's very very simple what you want to do is you pour your stone on your stone board like so very simple now we're not doing the old design i'm just going to do this I'm just doing this Gucci here. So you pour your stone on your stone on your stone design, the one you want to use. I want to use this Gucci. And once you pour it on the board, board, you want to take your duster and just do like this on the um, design that you are doing. So basically what we are doing, let me explain. When I say rhinestone, what this rhinestone also is, is it is a hot fix um, rhinestone. So what that means is it, it needs heat to attach to any surface or any fabric of your choice. Uh, when you pour the stone on the stone board, what you want is you want the shy shy. <laughs> you want the stone itself to be facing up. So you want the stone to be facing you. And that's what we are doing. And for us to get a perfect stone design, you want every single hole. Let me zoom in. You want to rub this in to make sure that every single one has a stone. And it's very, very simple. I'm doing it very slowly because I'm trying to show you. But you want to make sure that every single um, hole that has the design you want has a stone. And one thing I recommend is that you do this on a flat surface. Please do this on a flat surface so that your designs are not moving around. You don't even have to overthink it. Just rub it in. I hope I'm showing you how to do it properly. 
she'll just rub it in rub it in rub it in and every hole would get the stone it's very 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 simple so a large chunk of it has gotten the stone and i don't want to continue going for long i'm just going to take my picker or you can use your in fact don't let's use this one let's use this one i prefer this one i prefer this one because it's very easy to pick up any stone can you see that it's very very easy to pick just tap it and you pick up a stone very simple very easy so what i'm going to do is you can see i brushed off the the excess stone off the design so what i'm going to do is the remaining ones that don't have the stone i'm just going to pick it like that and put it in the hole like so just to make sure that you know we don't have holes or some parts of our design where there's no stone we don't want that so i'm trying to just figure out okay which ones don't have holes in don't have stones in them and if you don't want to use this tool like i said you can use your picker and you just use it like a chopstick really so you just pick it up like this pick it up like the only thing is that if you don't hold it well it would fall off but you just pick it up like that and then you place it in the in the hole what i'm going to just do i'm going to brush off all the excess and because this stone board is ah <laughs> because this stone board is um close like the designs are very close what i want to do now is i want to pick out the other stones in places that are not meant to be there so that i don't have excess stones on of designs that i don't necessarily need it's very important like i said earlier make sure that your stone is facing you and the glue part is facing downward very very important so what i'm just doing here is i'm removing the stones from the other holes that are not part of the design and the reason is that the transfer sheet would pick every single stone that is not even meant to pick okay so because they are very close um there's a high tendency that it will pick them so i'm going to remove all the stones then we have our gucci design so the next thing we want to do is take our transfer sheet now i don't want to waste this transfer sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure using i'm not going to place on it measure it and then cut out what i need because it's a bossy waste and we don't want that now we have our transfer sheet as we can see so what you want to do is there's the transparent it's just like a cello tape really so there's a transparent part and then there's this um other part so you want to peel it off like this right and then once you peel it off once you peel it off you take the gum side of the thing that looks like elastic and then you carefully place it on your design and then we take our duster again to apply even pressure on the design that we've made and the reason for this is we want every single stone to get attached to the we want every single stone to get attached to the design to the stone um, to the heat transfer sheet rather and then what you're going to do now is you're going to gently peel it off i say gently because as we are peeling off you may notice that something gets attached to like th there's one here that didn't get attached so you can easily go back and um, apply the pressure back to make sure that it's maybe let's say this one gets stronger oh it was actually not a stone so i'm going to go back and then apply some pressure in fact i want to apply pressure to everything to make sure that no there's no excuse this time and then we're going to peel it off can you see no stone is being left behind and then just like that we have our alt fix gucci design so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to place it place the design facing down and i'm going to take the um this thing back and place it on the odd fix so there we have it our gucci design so you can attach you can 
hot fix you can put this on anything maybe a pillow a t-shirt a hoodie whatever you want so that's how you make your designer stone design so if you want to learn how to attach this to a cloth i i'm going to do a separate video for that now i want to make a chanel one a chanel on a design i think it's still good chanel so i'm going to use this one like i said just like earlier it's the same thing that you do you just pour the stones like so and then usually it's advisable to have more than enough of these stones so when you're when you're actually not talking or when you're not teaching people how to make this it's actually really fast you can do this in like what like one minute So I want to show you over a dark surface what the Gucci logo looks like. So this is it. This is the Gucci logo. So if you were to attach it to any fabric, this is what you get. So that's how you make it as you can see from this Gucci here. We have this stone and then from the logo we have this thanks so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you like this video hit that like button subscribe down below share this video with your friends and family that you think will find it helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys